This is how you can run small versions of the latest language models on your laptop with no other GPU required. It's useful if you want to have privacy and not send your data somewhere else. And it's useful if you're flying on a plane. We are going to do this using LM Studio, which you can download by going to the website, clicking on download, then uh, select your operating system. It'll work on Mac or on Windows. Now, if you have an older Mac before the M1, then this won't work. And I'll describe a technique you should use later. Once you've got this downloaded on Mac, you should drag the file into the applications folder and on Windows, click on the downloaded file and install. Then you'll be able to get started with LM Studio. Now, when you open up LM Studio, you can move perhaps here into the developer view just by clicking. And now you'll be able to see there are chats uh, by clicking on this yellow chat icon. You can now start a chat as you would with ChatGPT. There also is a search tool here, which you'll need in order to download the model that you want to run. Now, we want to run some strong models. Ideally, we would like to run models that are as strong as OpenAI's O1 model, which is a reasoning model, or DeepSeek's uh, reasoning model here. And you can, of course, try those out directly for yourself. But we want to run them on our laptop without any data leaving. The strongest models available today, and they'll change, so I'll change the updates in the description of this video. The strongest models today are distilled versions of DeepSeek. So essentially, they're running this DeepSeek model, but the knowledge has been distilled into smaller models so that they can run on less compute, although the performance won't be quite as good. So let me show you how to pick uh, the smallest model that should be able to run on pretty much anyone's PC. Uh, you'll type in DeepSeek because it's a derivative of DeepSeek, and then you're going to look for Quen 1.5b, which means 1.5 billion parameters. And it uh, might sound like a large number, but that's actually quite a small model relative to the DeepSeek model itself. The original is about 600 billion parameters, and there's no way we would fit that on our computer. So if you type in DeepSeek Quen 1.5, you can select the top model here. Uh, GGUF is a format uh, for computers, not NVIDIA GPUs. And then click on this uh, drop down arrow, and you'll see multiple options here. These are various sizes of the same model, essentially various compressions. The smaller the model, the worse the quality, but the more likely it'll run on your computer. And you can see my computer here is all green, so I can run any of these. And I'd recommend uh, running the largest model that you can. Now, 1.5 is still a small model. We'll come back and run even larger models, which you may be able to do depending on your computer. Uh, but we'll start with the smallest one, which I think can be used by the most people. So we'll click Use in chat. Now, let's start with a basic question. Actually, not that basic. Uh, what is the sequence? And we'll give it 1, 4, 9, 16. Of course, uh, these are all squares. So let's see if it gets it. It gets it really fast. You can see it does a little bit of reasoning and then gives the correct answer here. OK, so we still have the model loaded. By the way, if you ever are coming in fresh and you've already downloaded the model uh, from the search, <clears throat> you'll come in and you'll need to select a model to load and then pick your model from here. You can choose the length of the maximum length of your conversation here. You can think about it roughly in words. Tokens are roughly words. The default will generally be fine, um, but some models they'll allow for longer. Particularly if you're using a small model, you can allow for a longer discussion. Now, I actually don't recommend increasing it for these small models because they start to become less capable. So it's probably best to leave it at the default value here. Let's try some more challenging questions. So there are a few questions I've prepared here with the help of GPT. Uh, the first one is identify the nature of this sequence. Uh, so this is a more complicated sequence, not just simple squares. Let's see how the model performs. So it's going to start thinking. And um, it's got a geometric sequence. And yes, it looks like it has reasoned its way through. And it should stop reasoning at some point now and deliver a fine final answer. And this is correct. So n cubed plus n squared. So it gets this answer correct. And that's for the smallest version of this model. So let's make it even harder now. We'll take a question here. Sisters and brothers, I have none. So I have no brothers and sisters. But that woman's daughter is my daughter's mother. Who is that woman? So this is a variant I made up of a common question where it involves father's sons, but I've changed the vocabulary. Typically, the answer to these types of questions is it's the speaker themselves. But I've made it so the answer here is actually the speaker's mother. Um, or if the speaker's a male, it would be the speaker's stepmother. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to throw off the model a little bit. So let's try get it to reason here. 
Now, one failure mode is that if uh, the model doesn't come to a conclusion, it can just keep reasoning for a really long time. So that's actually probably what's going to happen here. I don't think it's going to get to an answer, but it's going to keep uh, producing a lot of tokens and I'm just going to have to stop it. So at this point, you hope, okay, well, I can use a stronger model. How do I use a stronger model? Well, if the compute allows, I can maybe download a stronger model. So instead of searching for DeepSeekQuan 1.5, let's go up to 7B, which is the next layer. And in 7B, I'll again click to the right here and typically download the largest model possible and use it now in chat. And I'm going to ask this question here, the same one. And actually, I'm going to spare you the effort of waiting for the result uh, to say that it does come to a conclusion. And it says the woman in question is the speaker herself, which is actually incorrect because the woman in question is the speaker's mother, according to this. So the 7B model is not strong enough. Now, then you can go back and look for an even stronger model, which is 14B is the next layer up. And you can download this. Now I'm getting to the limit of my computer. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, so if you've got less than that, you may already have kind of reached the limit. But I can still run this model in a compressed format. So uh, let's load that up. Now, again, I've saved those results from earlier. I've got the mother problem here. It thought for 40 seconds. And the answer is the speaker is referring to themselves. They have a daughter. And that woman is their own mother, whose daughter is the mother of their daughter. So at the 14 billion uh, parameter size, I'm getting really good reasoning. Now, you're only going to be able to run this model if you have about 16 gigabytes of VRAM or 32. So that means you've got a pretty latest uh, version of a Mac and one of the higher end versions. Let's try and challenge this model even further. So I'm going to ask an even harder question. And um, it's not obvious, by the way, that this is hard because things that are hard to humans are not exactly hard in the same way. This is about um, a wolf, a goat, and a cabbage. They're each on the side of a river. Originally, it's a fox, a chicken, and grains. And your goal is, as a boatman, to bring across uh, all three of them without the fox eating the chicken or the chicken eating the grain. And basically, the way you have to do it, because you can only bring one thing at a time, is you have to shuttle across the middle one. So you shuttle across the chicken. Then you have to come back. You get the fox, but then you bring back the chicken. So there's this shuttling that allows you to have them cross the river. Now, of course, to avoid uh, some overfitting, I change it to a wolf, a goat, and a cabbage, and it's a forest of thistles with a jeep. So let's take this problem here, put it in uh, to LM Studio, and we'll put it in on this 14 billion model. And I actually have it pre-prepared here, the wolf, the goat, and it thinks we're in nine minutes and produces um, quite a lot of tokens. Uh, yeah, 10,000 tokens. Uh, but it's not able to converge on a solution. So again, maybe if I let it run for longer, it would be able to solve it. So then at that point, you would try go to a larger model. But at this point, my computer is not going to support it. So I'm not going to be able to load the 32B model, which is the next layer up. Um, it's too large for this machine. Notice that if you run directly with DeepSeek, uh, you can run the wolf goat cabbage problem and it will actually solve it. Now, this model is much, much bigger. It's 600 billion parameters. You're not going to run that locally. And O1 will also solve this problem. So um, OpenAI's version is also going to be able to solve. Um, I don't think I have it. Yeah, the wolf goat cabbage problem. Uh, it's able to get it uh, correct as well. Just a few notes on the models here. DeepSeek is the big model, and that's been distilled down. So the knowledge is encapsulated in a smaller model. The base model used that the knowledge is distilled into, there are two variants. There's Quen, the Chinese series of models, and there's Llama. So you can also actually type in DeepSeek Llama, and you can find there's an 8B model, and there also is a 70B model. The 8B will fit if you have 16 GB. The 70B is probably not going to fit unless you have a very large computer. But this would, again, be stronger than what I was able to show. Now, I would recommend using Llama in general, um, although Quen is a little bit stronger while being censored. So there's a trade-off there in whether you want the censorship or the strength. The Quen series just tends to be a little bit stronger uh, than the Llama series. And Quen also offers the 1.5B, the smallest version that nearly all of you can run, whereas Llama doesn't. Now, there's one more feature that I want to describe here uh, that can be used. And I'm going to go back. So I'll eject my small model and I'll put in my 1.5B distilled version from earlier. And I just want to show you how I can talk with a document. So I can upload a document here from my computer. I'm selecting the FIT, the International Touch Rugby Rules. And I'm just going to ask a question here. How many players 
on the field at the start of a drop-off. So this is kind of extra time for touch rugby. The answer is four. And LM Studio, rather than injecting the full document, it will actually find the most relevant snippets by doing what's called a vector search, and it will feed those into the model. And then the model will think, and actually here, it does not get uh, the correct number of players. So basically it's probably not being passed in the correct snippets. But I know from testing this before, the model itself is able to reason well, even this small model, provided you don't provide too much information. On the other hand, you can load the model in a way that will be allowing for the full document to be injected. So if I eject the model here, I click to load, uh, I click on this model, but now I increase to the max allowed conversation length. If I load the model in this case, and if I rerun that question, it's going to allow for the full content to be injected into the conversation rather than just searching for the relevant snippets first. And in principle, this technique should be a lot more robust, but the problem is with this tiny model, it's going to hallucinate because it doesn't handle well very long contexts. So you can see it's starting to think here. It says there's no specific information, but that's incorrect. There is specific information in this case. And to demonstrate that there is, I can just load the next model up here. So I'll load a slightly larger model. I'll load it with um, enough context, enough conversation size to be able to take in the full document. And now if I regenerate the message, um, you can see actually that context, uh, it's not actually able to put the full document in because my computer doesn't have enough memory. So it's taking out the relevant snippets. And even though the model is probably strong enough to answer this question, it may not have the right uh, snippets. So actually in this case, it does get the right snippet and um, it finds the answer that there's four players from each team. So all of this to say that broadly speaking, uh, when you're running locally, it's hard to have very long conversations because your computer won't have enough memory. And for this reason, LM Studio will end up finding relevant snippets rather than injecting the full uh, context of documents that you want to put in. And this is good if you've got precise questions where it kind of, you can think of it like a word search to find these snippets and inject them. So it'll work well with specific queries, but it's not going to work so well if you've got very nuanced um, kind of reasoning questions over extremely long volumes of text. So in summary, when you're running locally, short queries, including with reasoning, are going to work pretty well, even with these smaller models. Short factual questions on long documents even will work well because this snippet-based approach uh, will be used by LM Studio. If you want to use um, longer documents with stronger models, it's just going to be tough because it's going to be hard to find the memory. And one other thing I should say is Mistral have just released Mistral Small, uh, which is actually not that small a model. It's over 20 billion parameters, but it is quite a strong model. And you can also run that on LM Studio. You'll just need to go to the search bar and type in Mistral Small. And right there, you should see a few options. I wasn't able to download the biggest one because my computer's not big enough, uh, but I was able to download the smallest of the options and I was able to get that running and it gives pretty good results. I think the reasoning is not even quite as good as the smallest Quen model I showed. Um, but if you want to have a, a non-reasoning model that gives maybe quicker answers, although not that quick because it's a big model, you can run it just here. And as I said, models are updating all the time. So check the description below and I'll try to keep updated the models I recommend for your computer size. And that brings me to the last part of the video where I'll just explain if you've got a very old Windows or a Mac before the M1, there is an alternative way that you can use to run one of these models. And that is to go to this GitHub link here called Lamafile. Uh, now on the Lamafile GitHub page here, you can simply download a model straight away. The DeepSeek model is not up yet. I expect it'll be up soon. So I'll just show you with a different model here with a Llama 1B model. So to download this, I'm just going to click on the file and then I'll click on download. And once that's downloaded, it'll take a few moments because it is um, a reasonably large file, 1.26 gigabytes. I'll then open up a terminal. So you can do this on Windows or on Mac. I'll show you what the terminal look like, looks like. I'll increase the font size and I'm going to move into my downloads folder. And next I need to, on Mac, give permission to run this file. Uh, so I have this file here. That's the name I'm going to copy. And if you're running, by the way, on Windows, you want to add .exe to this file. So you'll need to go to your downloads and add, rename the file to have uh, .exe at the end. 
on Mac, I need to give permissions. So chmod plus X, and then I need to type in uh, the name of this file here. And once that's done, I can just run the file like this. So dot forward slash, and it's going to run the Llama file server. And here we go. So a chat between, and let's just ask that question, continue or identify the sequence and the sequence again, one, four, nine, 16. And here in this case, this is not as strong as DeepSeq. That model will be available soon. I'll say, nope, that was not correct. Yep, that's correct. So you can see here that it's working quite well. I did test this earlier on a Mac um, that is not M1. It's an Intel chip, and it works actually quite fast. Not quite this fast, but still pretty fast. So this should be a good backup option. And um, I'll put in the description once this is available uh, with the DeepSeq distilled model. That's it, folks. Cheers. Let me know any questions below in the comments.